Aloha and welcome to our video on carbohydrates. Today's goal is to recall that saccharides are carbohydrates and then also to recognize that carbohydrates are what stores energy that's needed to carry out many cell functions. Okay, so let's talk about carbohydrates real quickly. We're going to talk about the various types of carbohydrates. There's three primary ones. They are the monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. The monosaccharides, mono means one. So these are going to be the simple sugars, one sugar alone, and our examples are going to be fructose here and glucose there. If I take a fructose and a glucose and I add them together, like we see over here, we get sucrose, and that's going to be a disaccharide. A di means two. So these are going to be two monosaccharides joined together. We looked at sucrose over here. We have lactose, which is a milk sugar, and then also maltose, which is when we get two glucoses that are bonded together. Now what if we add more of those together, then we get what we call a polysaccharide, and that's going to be many of these monosaccharides joined together. There are three kinds I want you to be familiar with. Plants still are energy as starch, so things like potatoes and corn and things of that nature are going to have an awful lot of these sugars attached to each other, and that's what the starch is. We also have cellulose, which we'll talk about when we talk about the cells, and that's what forms the cell wall in plants. And then finally, as animals, we store it as glycogen, so long strings of sugar attached together. Remember, sugars are what provides us with our energy, so we want to be able to break up the monosaccharides, the easy ones, but we want to be able to store them as a whole bunch together. Okay, let's talk about carbohydrates and health real quickly. Remember, carbohydrates are the sugars, are the main source of energy for our cells, and we'll learn about that when we talk about cellular respiration. We want to remind you that there are simple sugars and complex sugars. Simple sugars are going to be your monosaccharide and disaccharides. That'll be one or two. Most of the disaccharides and things of that nature are going to be these processed sugars, and we'll talk about that in a couple seconds. We also have complex carbohydrates, and those are going to be the polysaccharides, and those we tend to get from our vegetables and whole grains, things of that nature. And we're looking for a starch and fiber. Now, starch, we can break apart and we can get energy from it. Fiber, we can't digest. We don't break that apart, but it's necessary to help us with the digestive process. So we do want to get our fiber in our diet as well. Now, you've heard about good and bad carbs. These processed sugars tend to line up in the bad carbs here. And what you'll notice is normally when we eat, so here's our eating time, we'll see a spike in our blood sugar. And that spike in the blood sugar releases insulin out at the same time we're eating, and then that insulin is able to control it, and we stay about where we should be. Now, the bad sugars, notice the spike is going to be a little bit higher here, so we get a little more energy out there. And then the insulin returns to normal, but notice where the blood sugar goes. The blood sugar comes all the way down into here, and this is what we know is a sugar crash or something of that nature, and not very healthy for us. We don't have enough energy, and that energy is that sugar. So if we don't have enough sugar, we don't have enough energy for the life processes to continue, and that's not a good thing. Okay, well, that ends this video. Good luck in the lessons, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.